1,400. 1,428. 1,428. It's at least 500. Well, 7 plus 7 is 14. Evil Dr. Continent is setting up a base on Serenity near an old concrete mill. It's 1,429. Oh, it's a suspicious. That's gonna be... Love you, Night Owl. This is Night Owl's mission? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I've been saying. looking forward to this. Doctor Continent. Okay, looks like we're ready. Nido, go ahead and uh, give a quick brief. Doctor Continent's secret lair. Intel has revealed that the evil Doctor Continent is setting a base on Zarani near an old concrete mill. It's up to Op Four to take down his operation before his evil can take root. This is a destroy the cache mission. There are two caches. Do not have to be destroyed in any order. Um, Independent has a teleporter, so they can go between the two different cache points. Independent has a gas 66 with a ZU-23, pretty much a car with a gun, as well as an anti-air ZSU. Op 4 features an attack helicopter, an APC, as well as six assault boats. Time limit is normal, 60 minutes. And yes. Any questions from our platoon leaders? Yes, why are the assault boats? This should be pretty obvious. I. Uh, Who's sure? asking? Independent or Opfo? Uh, yeah, because. Opfo. Opfo. We'll, we'll see. Trust me, Pierce, it's okay. <laughs> I just had some questions. Uh, That's oh, all. God, are they land Questions boats? from Infor. Um, mm. Can the armed helicopter, like, target vehicles, can they pick it out of the middle of a forest if it's hiding by Arma Lock-On? I'm not sure about the Lock-On. It's the same helicopter we had last what mission, so do with that what you will. Yep. So it, it's the MI-24 that only has a gun. It's the, uh, the V, uh, version of but it. But he has the Gatling gun, gotcha. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna... No. Alright, cool. No, it, it doesn't... <laughs> That. Your gun is a sexual is. <laughs> oh yeah, so Night Owl who no. just gave that introduction. He has such activated a nice through voice. Ace or through scroll wheel. I wish my voice was like the that. The gun should be through scroll wheel. The teleporter through scroll wheel. Oh, oh that should be Ace. Print in four. Ace. Okay, got it. <laughs> right out, rejectors. Uh, alrighty. Good luck. Have fun. Final round of FNF starts right now. All right, I'm curious, but first I got to tab out, go back to the casting couch room. All right, Barb, we got 15 minutes, but I need to see what these boats look like and what this helicopter looks like. So give me yeah. a hot second. Um, uh, well, the helicopter is, oh, what the fuck? Okay, so the helicopter is the same MR-24 from the first mission. Nose cannon, that is 12.7 and uh, nothing, yep. no pylons or anything. BTRs 80 gases, but then yeah, these assault boats, which are curiously enough not in the water. I, I guess they're gonna be teleported, maybe up to the uh, the airstrip. I I don't get it, <laughs> but I guess we'll see what happens. Maybe or you know Puerto de Perotas, something like that. But like, I am very confused. Also, quick note, that BTR-80 is not going to be the best choice for this because it's going to have to go uphill eventually and it's very easy to get choke pointed here because it's not going to be able to get up these massive hills and that choke oh, yeah. point can easily just stomp it. That is a, yeah, like you said, a massive hill, very obvious choke point with more than a few uh, Holy crap. Uh, positions. I mean, just look how high those mountains get. You can hide anywhere on there and not only see the BTR coming, but be able to just dick on it as soon as it passes through the pass. It's um, also independent. They've oh, got a lot of stuff. Oh, they got a shit ton of quad oh, bikes. They got the gas. They have they a have, transport truck. Like they've got, and is this even a, fair? A, this is, a, they have a, what, a ZU-23 truck. They have a, a Shilka. They have, I mean, I doubt the radar is actually connected to anything, but like, 
it, it this is a base this is meant to be i okay well hold on. let's take a look right at op for his kit and if they have a decent amount of at like rpg 26s and rpg 7s then maybe i'm seeing two rpg 7s looks like every uh, squad that got deployed uh, has an rpg 7 but i'm not seeing any shoulder rpg 33s so they're gonna have to be very defensive about that because the mi24 only has its uh, gatling so uh, yeah. hold up we do have the uh, the titan uh part of the mat team yep i am looking for him hey, he's next to the boats also i'm gonna get my pudding go get your pudding i'll keep talking in the meantime uh, uh, no i have it in my fridge right here let me tell you something oh yeah that's perfect all right i'm gonna eat that while we're doing this but yeah, pudding's pudding eat, yeah eat my pudding i mean you're pudding what mm -hmm. yeah uh but yeah what's that um so the the caveat with that is is the raider actually hooked up to anything or is it just a set piece i think it's just for that, show but the, I think it's just the shilka show well. will have her own radar also russian's got some pretty nasty body armor going uh, i'm trying to get some eyes on some independent dudes remember, uh, they just teleported the, the, back remember that the um the uh, the configs and everything um yep yep n4 does have some body armor this but, time, yeah and so they, they should be evened out Mm -hmm. um, Patriot was saying, uh, and the as we were the, the second round was winding down, that um, even with those chest rigs that don't have any armor, they still have armor because of the combat. Gotcha. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I mean, I'd like to think so, because otherwise that just seems really imbalanced. But I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we're seeing uh, three RPGs for Red Four plus the Titan. Um, so that's a, I mean, that's a decent amount of AT um versus you know a shilka and a gaz that gaz can obviously be taken out by just small arms fire but the shilka will need some attention as far as the at uh green Four platoon hq is running around the top of the or the, the mountain area with the um uh the huge ass base i mean there's mm -hmm. three battle towers here there are you know just pockets of hesco's like Endor doesn't need, really need to build too many extra defenses. They no, they they got it set to be honest. I think Seriously. I think Op Four has already made a mistake so, by on, not getting that marksman yeah. slot. You already have Stray Dog moving to the southernmost part of his uh, space that he can go for pre setup time, uh, and he does have a uh, I think that was an SVD with a scope. I'm gonna look at it again. Probably yep. yeah. So really like with how open this map is and how much terrain there is he could go up somewhere he wouldn't even have to fire as long as he gets intel down uh what i would like to see is um the gas with the zu go somewhere high but angle the gun down maybe the uh, northwestern ridge line over here uh this could just be a very nasty slaughter oh kind of like if they angle things yeah yeah, exactly. if, he's able to, if he goes up that road and just kind of mountain goats his way over yeah what, what he would have to be... do Ooh. is he would have to go along the northern coast because i did this in an op a few weeks ago uh go around the northern coast climb up the uh less steep side of the hill he could get up here in five to ten minutes but while that's going on op 4 would just be deploying especially if they uh in company with that btr 80 it's gonna take him a while to get there but uh, with the freaking auto cannons, man, I just don't see this being fair. I thought the uh, 24 would have like rocket pods or something, but two auto yeah, cannons I, is I, very I, dangerous. I would have, I, I would have much more pre. Uh, my, uh, blah, 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 words are hard, but having those uh, 9k whatever um, ATGMs on the high. Mm -hmm. Would have made this a much fairer fight. Oh, I don't think the least. high needed ATGMs. I think it just needed rocket pods. Because what this does is it's going to put, uh, put a lot of reliance on Op4's mat team. But if they get caught out of the open early on, uh, that's going to pretty much seal the coffin for Op4. So we'll just have to see how they deploy. Yeah, and I mean, if this is a particularly hard nut to crack. But given the lessons learned with the, for, uh, the first two missions, I would hope that uh, the attacking team would be a little bit more conservative with their assets. Mm -hmm. Maybe having the infantry, you know, go squish a little bit more, but with those ZUs, it's just like, I, I just don't know, man. That that throws everything out of the question, though I do love the setup 
as far as um like yeah this is uh from night owl and that will obviously put a lot of uh detail mm -hmm. into this um but i just don't know if he uh put a ton of consideration for the actual players in it um well, well it's yet to be seen i i don't want to you know We'll judge a book by its cover. Yeah. I'm very excited to see I mean, this and how it plays I, out. If I were to critique one thing, I think Op4 could be a little closer because that BTR80, if they decide to use it, just looking at its route, it is mostly going to be going flat and uphill, and that thing does not have good mobility. Uh, maybe Spawn uh, could have been moved chunky. up to the town of um, Eponia uh, just to bring it closer, but what what i'm really seeing here is this gives independent a lot of room to really set up this choke point ambush and in my yeah. opinion that's what they need to capitalize on if they get that um zu gas somewhere to just overwatch that position it could be really really nasty but the obvious counter would be the mi-24 deploying um guys in different positions i'm thinking uh the forested areas around uh 151 or uh, maybe as far as one three three one seven five. Uh, so yeah, independent a... doesn't even get uh, audio contact, but we'll have to see. Go ahead. We'll have to see. Yeah, because I mean, so it's a bit of a I don't even know how to describe it, but it's almost I almost want to see up four drive up the middle because there's the ob it's the obvious choke point, but it's almost a mind game in that. You have um, three, uh, from what I can see, at least from looking at the map, three potential uh, alternate routes from Op4. Um, you have the kind of slightly, fl slightly flatter uh, part of the mountain at 130161. What the um, heck are these boats for? Uh, but then you also have the northern part at like 131170 and going around the far north, uh, kind of where that. E that Z, uh, Gaz ZU-232 would just wreak havoc that we were talking about, but, um, and also, yeah, like you said, the south, southeastern part of it, and just going around that way. But I almost want to, I, I would love it if N4 was like, okay, we'll have a couple guys watching it, but they're not gonna, they're, there's no way I'm thinking they they're gonna go airlift. through the mountain pass, right? Like, they, they couldn't just they they wouldn't just fucking do that right let's let's spread our defenses out somewhere else so what's that's and pointing then, out um sorry go ahead go ahead i, I thought you were done well th th that's about it just like i'd love to see out for kind of mind game in for mm -hmm. into just taking the obvious route so what do you think these boats are for? What's that thinking? Maybe they could use the mi-24 to tow one uh each one of those boats can fit five people but I, I think that's just a joke. Uh, maybe, but they... Uh, Night Owl, in the brief, he was like, D don't worry, their use will be apparent. And it's like, okay, yeah, but... Well, you gotta okay. consider, like, all of this, like, the airbase on the top right has been included in the play zone. I, I'm trying to figure out why there's so much space here. Because normally, yeah, I, with other rounds, we've been seeing... um. You know the space is really confined but here there's just so much open i i don't know like maybe op4 can choose where they deploy these boats so they can give them a Possibly. wide berth that's why the I, area is so big but i i i've noticed I know. at both bases uh that there is a you know uh stand uh, you know freestanding map of sarani i wonder if mm -hmm. that's been coded as a kind of interface like we saw with the uh the mission from last week that mm -hmm. had that same kind of logistical uh, importance but if it doesn't i mean your options for the boats are either you go up to the north northwest and you deploy in the bay and go around the the cape to the north or you go east to uh, masbete and you drive up from there but either way it's like where where do you even land uh, there's a couple good places but it's like you're still walking a good click till you reach the AO I I am I'm very uh, I don't want to think that some things weren't thought through but I can't think of anything else I, I think we'll see it play out but honestly if you look on the coast there are a lot of spots where they could bring boats um I'm just 
again, I, I, we'll, I guess we'll see it when it happens, but, you know, no one's crewing those boats right now. I don't even see anyone taking the BTR-80, and in their shoes, I probably wouldn't take that either. It's just going to take way too long to get up there. Uh, I would yeah. probably just, um, if I was Op 4 Command, I would try to get a majority of my units in the MIA and deploy them. I would probably uh, use either the MI, I called it an MIA, MI-24, to either deploy my um, Titan guy up on a ridge, or better yet, uh, I'd have him get in a gas because the gas Lira, can. Lira, yep. Lira, Lira. The the island to the northeast. Go to mm -hmm. the southeast coast uh, of that island. Keck. I okay. This is a fucking top keck moment for two things. Two things. One, the ship's hull is clipping into the island. Two, Double there cack. are no armaments on that boat. There is no point for that boat to be there other than just ambiance. Okay, so what, what does that have to do with Op 4? I don't, I, I, I don't know, but it's there. <laughs> okay, know. it's there. Got it, got it. Uh, that, that's about it, dude. I thought, I thought that was like their I'm teleport for their boat. I don't know. I May, maybe that's where the I boats cross. go. May, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe. We'll, we'll see. Know. Maybe, we'll see maybe that's the boat deployment. But anyway, we'll as I was saying, I would put my AT guy on this giant screw all hill. Can you adjust your render distance or excuse me, your view distance uh, with, um, is there any mod to do that while they're in game Maybe or are they limited? Ship? Uh, I mean, there's the ACE, you know, one mm -hmm. you know, view distance limiter. So I would honestly uh, put my AT guy on Pico de Perez with his Titan and I would try to snipe that Shilka or the Gaz. Yeah. Yeah, uh, with I just the ZU gun. It's about four clicks, and that's a lot more. That's a lot better. As far yeah. As Boom. Um, yeah, there's a I'm lot. Pump of mine stuff. up, actually. Oh, yeah, pump it up, buddy. Um, <laughs> but there's a lot of, you know, just peaks and cliffs that you, you could set that Titan onto and be a, I mean, absolute hunter killer team. From any of these mountain ranges, you get a good thermal signature and lock on. Mm -hmm. That's that's it for the Shoka, and if he has a second missile, great. That's the gas. He does have well. an assistant, so I would assume he has a second missile. Yeah, and, and even if so for some reason it scuffs it, it or you you know, the what's important for that Titan Gunner is to take out the Shoka. Uh, otherwise, taking out the gas, it's gonna be tough for infantry to do it, but it's possible. Although, yeah, they are using it. You have Martin and. I think it's just Martin in there. We have Farks, Arcor, and Helios in the uh, crew for the Shoka. And uh, I, I thought Helios was about to get run over by the Shoka. That would have been hmm. hilarious. So what's that's calling me out and saying my plan is obvious? Uh, but just to counter his statement, I am I got a wide shot of this massive ridge line here. They could put the Titan guy anywhere over. That's why I also said you could also put him in a gas and just have him maneuver around. Because all he needs is five seconds to lock that, um, lock the Shilker, the gas, and once he lets it go, because it uh, uses RHS Javelin settings for Ace, uh, there's pretty much no dodging that, unless... Uh, I am seeing that there is a dome on the uh, top hill base yeah. where that Shilka yeah. is. They could potentially open the big gate on the left, though it is a little bit in the ground, so I'm not sure it's openable. But if they could detect the missile coming in, they could pull into that dome and potentially save it. That requires a lot of coordination, and I don't think we're going to see something that advanced for this. No, I don't think so either. However, as we have this mission starting, um while the force is set out, I want to bring your attention to that dome. I want you to fly into that dome and tell me what you see. There's a temple in there. Yeah. With a fire and four pumpkin. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, it's one of the, it's it's it it's. <laughs> I don't want to say it, but it, it is what it is. Um, so this will be very interesting to see how this plays out, considering uh, a number of things. Uh, Rake and Koas are in the Mi-24. They don't have any infantry in it. No, they, I saw a third name in there. Uh, I think our settings are glitched because I'm not seeing names here. Uh, so they're going to probably deploy a team way to the north. Meanwhile, the rest of the infantry have gotten in gases, and they are getting this platoon HQ that's going to take the death trap, a.k.a. BTR-80. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure the boats were just a troll. I thought that would have been really cool if they got like a teleport feature and could attack from the coast so we could get a really sexy pincer movement in here, but... 
I, I don't know. I don't know why there's so much area on this map. It throws me off a little bit. Me too. Uh, Platoon HQ is taking that BTR. Uh, I'm guessing they're just going to use it for the extra armor on top of maybe the extra fire about the boats, but that's then, fair once I don't done. think they're going to be using it for My bad. Uh, a quote-unquote serious uh, mm -hmm. assault effort, but we'll see. Um, yeah, Nemesis says in my chat, Nidal uh, has been having too much fun uh, building that, and I think that is exactly the case. He, had, he, he went a little overzealous. But, um... Shoka is trying to climb the hill to the south of the uh, dome objective. Uh, ZU is cool. also being brought to the right side, possibly to be kept in reserve. I think the Shilka is going to watch the uh, approach to the north. And uh, the ZU is going to watch the south and their right flank. But we do have the 24 coming in now, possibly to deploy people on that ridge line so they can start getting eyes. Once yeah, that brings up, yeah, you can... Um... Uh, cargo or sling load those uh, boats, but is it really worth the time and the effort to do that? I can't agree. I, I, I cannot say that it is. So 24 just tried to land but slid off the slope. Uh, even though they didn't have their uh, gear on, but now they're being exposed to Platoon HQ and I'm not sure if Platoon HQ spotted them. Oh, come on, guys. Stick your head out. Uh, that is a negative. They are behind a rock, and yeah, there is no One of them was the looking side. in that direction, but he pulled back at the worst possible time. They're still not putting their heads out. They're too busy talking instead of watching. Speaking of doing things other than talking, how's your pudding? It's good. Thank you. No problem. I'm glad it turned out well. So 24 now pulling away. Uh, one of them spots it. He's now fixated oh, on that, no. and he's not going to see the infantry on the right. So... That is Platoon yeah. HQ, so he can that then get the work out. yeah he can get the AA guns on it. But now everyone up here is going to be focusing on that twenty four instead of the infantry. Oh. So that's going to give up for um, a little bit I'm of an advantage. Mon's perspective, he's looking to the south southeast now. Oh, and he sees that the east sees it. He sees that my twenty four. I don't know if he has the elevation to deal with it. Oh, he does. He's opening fire. Shots but going off, but at that range, he is unlikely to hit. Well, his rounds are just short. Yeah. But this is good. He's drawing the attention away from the infantry he just dropped off, so those infantry can get into a good position. I'm going to quickly check on them to see if they drop that Titan off. I am Shoka seeing is now D1. looking for the damage 24. Radar should have... Uh drawn them right into its position but it yeah, looks like um mm -hmm. too far away so op4 oh, did it's coming in sorry go ahead yep so uh op4 reslotted to get their marksman uh they dropped the marksman and the titan guy off. titan already being uh carried here uh but these guys are being deployed one of these dudes has a pretty nasty skyline uh for platoon hq but he's not uh going over there and yeah um they're pretty much baiting out where those ZU guns are so the Titan can maneuver and try to take it out. So very smart call for Op4 here to get these positions on Audible. So now Op4 can take its kill team that's deployed and uh, try to get a good position on it. Yeah, it's lucky they don't have any guided AA because the distance that they're at, I mean, that's a good two mm -hmm. to three clicks out. And any AA, uh, you know, emplacement fire is going to be, uh, they're going to be lucky at best. But it, it comes down to, in that, if with that strategy of being able to discern between the Shilka and the ZU-23 from distance. Um, because, I mean, obviously it's the same gun, but Shilka has four Z and the truck has two. So being able to discern between the two and recognize that there are two in a given area versus just one uh, might be a bit of a tall order it's yet to be seen but, so by the uh, way quick word of reference the titan team has spotted platoon hq's hill because they were skylining so they've gotten down they're watching with the thermal scope uh, i don't think they're gonna fire at him though because that would just be a waste of a round even though i think the titan guy has an assistant to give him a few extra rockets what they need to do yeah. is um, just try to hunt those Vicks down. You're still hearing the uh, ZSU firing at the sh uh, the MI-24 from ways away, but that 24 is hovering. 
Uh, not even trying to strafe left or right, so a lucky burst would take it out. And as they say, that looks like Hudson is starting to make it go forward a bit, but it's got to be a little more evasive because if the 20, excuse me, if the uh, ZU guns line up a good shot, they could potentially take him out. So any form of hovering is not going to go well for Op4. Yeah, I mean, this definitely has not started out the way that I would have uh, exactly expected. And we're yeah. seeing uh, with Green 4 Platoon HQ, I mean, they're looking at the MI24 as well. But they still have no idea way, that Op4 is right there, though. Yeah, just across the way, only a few hundred meters away from their position, they have um, a Red 4 Delta element, which I believe includes the, yeah, includes the Titan. They're moving up on their position or moving at least towards their position and give me your milk has spotted at least one person on that ridge um i believe that is warwick actually that guys give me your milk op four or green four give me your milk is op four and yeah so op four already four. spotted platoon hq a few minutes ago uh, the they, titan team did, did that okay, yep but okay. tight they're focusing on trying to knock that 24 out uh independence coming way too many eyes to go look at it and it's baiting them too hard. The Shilka now still backing itself up. It's going to be completely exposed to a Titan if they pull it up. And I think if you pull up to... Oh my gosh, it's down. The 24, the 24 is down. That's the why you don't down. hover. And I'm pretty sure it's the guys who did it. So like I said, that's that's disappointing. And I I don't know why they the did that. third time tonight, the attacking 20. team has fucking just... Wasted, All he needed to honestly, do was just wasted. tilt the joystick left or right. I don't know why he hovered, because that, of Doesn't course, that's going to get you killed. So, unfortunately, that's going to make Platoon HQ now turn around, and they might now spot this attack coming up. And if they coordinate with their Shilka, that Shilka could then easily take out the uh, infantry if they cross over too much. I also noticed Stray Dog, he's uh, in a position of concealment right next to the ZSU. Uh, pretty much just watching into the first compound. So he's going to let Op4 kind of envelop his position before opening up. Also, one yeah, of the pilots he's... survived, uh, Drake, and he's going to now swim it to shore. But <laughs> that's, that is so disappointing. But yeah, Op4, they're sending people up here. They might have spotted that one of these guys had a radio. Uh, but if they could knock out Platoon HQ early on, that could really help them. I'm just so disappointed that they lost that 24. I, I don't know. Uh, Why? I mean, you know? I... You hope for so many good things, but yeah, um, Stray Dog uh, will be doing a more defensive thing. However, Patriot, he is the Red Four Marksman. He's with this forward element that's going, uh, pushing on to uh, Platoon HQ's position uh, for Green Four, that is. And let's see, so they have a PKM and AK with the GP25 and just another AK. You know um, if there's a toggle to see names, because I'm getting that glitch again. No, I, I really think it is uh, just depending on the mission maker. I don't know, mm -hmm. but it just... So yeah, Op4 hasn't spotted that Shilka on the left. Uh, and Independence still uh, not knowing that. Oh, oh hold up. This, oh, this... you see Independence looking right down that hill. Yeah, this one Shilka... sentry, uh, this this is going to be... Shilka's looking there it goes. North, but... They fire oh. at Platoon HQ. And they managed to drop the uh, MG sentry, yeah, and now they're moving up in his paws. I wonder if that Shilka is going to be ordered to move his gun, because Platoon HQ is right there. I would be yelling at that Shilka to suppress this position. Shilka's moving. I don't think it has the elevation. Based on its position... Platoon HQ, 3-1, to one, is going to get mowed down right here. And yep, there goes Platoon HQ for done. Independent. That's big. Yeah. That is big. Hey, Warwick. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> War, what, what was Warwick doing? Was he in that stupid uh, helicopter? He, he, was, he was the MG Sentry. He was the MG Sentry. Oh, sentry. oh yeah, no, no. <laughs> he got mowed. So we uh, we weren't expecting the, anybody to come up from that high ground. We weren't expecting. So Warwick, you were you were speaking uh, with Platoon HQ, and if you just went a little bit hard. off the rock, yep, I can hear it. Uh, you would have seen the MI24 land that strike team that just took you out. So. They, they saw some of you skylining on the tippy tops of the rocks, and then they decided to maneuver on you. And up on that hill, they do have their Titan, and they did just take fire. Also, Op4 is on the ridge. Looks like they're firing down at the battle tower where three guys are. 
in the uh, base here, but that Shilka firing again manages to someone. knock a dude out. That was the marksman. He that did slide off it, yeah. and take uh, some additional damage there, but Titan needs to do his thing because that Shilka's exposed and he needs to kill it. Yeah, I'm watching Drake's Reznov. Swimming. He's kind of skirting around towards Patriot's position. He obviously didn't want to peek out. He's the, the Shilka's charging up for right now. And it is peppery that mountaintop position. I just watched the guy get chewed up, but he's still okay. That Titan needs to be deployed now. I think he I see him it. on the top of the hill. He's lining I'm up that shot. Victory. He has the he has eyes on the Shilka. He's locking right now. Uh, but an RPG hits it. it. That was not the Titan. An RPG just wow. hits the Shilka and takes it out, leaving mm -hmm. that Titan for use for the for the gas. So honestly. These green four guys, they're going to dismount. I don't think they're coordinating with the other guys, though, because they're going to walk right on top of Op4. Oh oh they don't God. see each yes. other. Op4 is right here. Oh, oh my God. God. They're literally oh back. God. No, the machine gun. What is this? What is this? <laughs> and green four dismounts. Goes oh, my down. fucking God. Oh, my God. What was that? What uh, the I fuck mean, was that? At, at a glance, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Uniform confusion? So, so, uniform and equipment, kind of, but uh, uh, Green Force is using Woodland, M81, and Op4 is using That was EMR. just Miss PID right there. That was, yeah, that it, was it silly. Was just rough on PID. Alpha, also, they there was... An exploding tank. Yeah, right? Like... I mean, the BTR has actually made uh, its way in. My God. Yeah, it's passed through the, that choke point. And yes! Uh, yes, Op4 did what I said! They did, they took the obvious route because they, they thought, no way! That they would actually defend against the I don't know why independent didn't set obvious. that up as a choke point um because mind games Liru this is why here's the deal though you do, though. You do have dogs. sparky dog or excuse me stray dog with the marksman rifle he has assumed the platoon HQ element and he is watching uh that's BTR maybe checking for a dismount but he's gonna be in a really good firing position in a little bit I gotta look into how I'll do um, instant yeah, replays and stuff, but I'd love there. to get they something just, like that going. I'm very new to this, so fire. They're me. pretty much unopposed right now. I'm trying to look for that uh, gas with the ZU gun on it, but um, I'm really not finding it. Someone just got out of the platoon HQ vehicle. Oh, got the, the marksman gas, right there, but he's in cover to the marksman. <laughs> So check this, the gas is coming back to the lower base, but Boston has reinforced it to the point where the truck can't get back in. Amazing. So what they need to truck, do with that is, that yeah, they need to bring that somewhere else because that Shilka going right into enemy infantry, I guess for a shock unit, that was dumb. Even though the Titan should have hammered it earlier, but I think the Titan guy is trying to heal the marksman. So if they're able to get him up, uh, this first base is pretty much toast with uh, how many Op4 guys are coming in, even though they got a lot of guys on Overwatch in the back. Also, uh, Sniper Stray Dog is starting to take a few shots. Um, excuse me, not take, but dish out. And I don't think he's landing yep. any hits. He's shooting at the guys in the uh, metal shed. I hear one of them bandaging, though, so... Yeah, and now the question turns from to Green Forest's AT capabilities with that BTR. They have a number of GP25s, which I believe can, and I'll emphasize that, can damage and outright or possibly disable it, but um, if they don't have any RPGs themselves, and I'm not seeing any so far, uh, um, they might be SOL. So, uh, Sergeant Pi is a RPG. Uh, yep. Staff Sergeant Manheim is an RPG. Blake is also an RPG, but yes. Pi and Blake are up here at, at the top. Um, where's Manheim at? Real quick, uh, one of the independent guys triggered an explosive satchel, thinking he saw uh, more than a single guy running up, but it was ineffective. And that BTR-80 Alpha just wounded somebody, uh, trying to pen him through the uh, wall with that 14.5 millimeter. And I think it worked because I've seen. Now we got some down. suppressive fire going in as well. Oh, just that angle! That is, that is such a high up angle. Yes, and return fire coming from Battle Tower One, but I mean, 
the, the thing is, Op4 are, can be very mobile with their positioning. They have this whole ridge line to work with, whereas Greenford have these three battle towers, which are very static in placements. By the way, uh, we do have that uh, Gaz ZU going up the MSR. It's going to try to flank. Uh, and we still have the, uh, wow, no, um, Stray Dog managed to injure Platoon HQ in the BTR while he was turned out because his turnout door is, uh, open. Huh. Uh, he's back up. Looks like, yep, he woke back up. He is immediately opening fire again. I think he's trying to injure the one dude in that battle tower. But there goes Mannerheim, who was one of the Green 4 ATs. With how is, spread out Independent is, though, this is going to be a tough fight. Sorry, Warwick, go ahead. No, just as a note, I hate those battle towers. They, oh, yeah. Like, they're, they're good if you have the surprise. AT goes out. Ooh, RPG hits the BTR it's and it. knocks him out again, and it's going to start cooking off. It's smoking. It's smoking. Uh, whoever just had that, I think he's trying to unload the, the buddies inside. Yep, another RPG goes. It's just short, oh, but it's Platoon it's HQ's brutal. down. It's brewing. Yep, uh, it's, it's because he's crippled. He gets mowed down. That's going to kill both of them. Yep, because of the explosion. Yep, absolutely. Kaboom. Ouch. So Platoon HQ mocked out. Both Op4 and Independent have lost their commanders. And we now it's just going to be a matter of uh, numbers here. And the Gaz of the ZU-23-2 is... He's making his way up that hill. It'll probably be another minute or two. But once he gets up there, he will have a... A, I mean, no red for element. Is he Here's the thing, though. Titan is uh, on an Overwatch position, looking with his camera. Might spot that gas coming by, but he just got into defilade, so not sure what's going to happen there. But if that gas tries to make a move, it is going to get killed by that Titan. But you do have Anderson over here. Uh, he is the rightmost guy. I'm trying to scroll down. It uh, appears he is actually shooting up at those three Op4 guys. If he were to nail that Titan, that Titan could, um, he actually is aiming for the Titan. If he shoots the Titan guy, he's going to ragdoll off and probably die on the uh, fall. But that would nullify Op4's Titan, meaning that Gaz would be a lot more lethal. Mm-hmm. I'm watching the victory right now, the uh, Titan Gunner. But he, he's just looking down between the two bases. He, do, he doesn't even, he's not even considering the fact that the flank is mm -hmm. And yeah, the, the defilade is blocking his view anyway. So. so I just watched an independent guy uh, with an RPG. He's the guy that killed the BTR. He just got shot by somebody else by um, Shockland. So Shockland, he's lone wolfing around on the left side. He could potentially do some more damage uh, because of how spread out independent is. Op4 just doing a massive concave here and distracting a lot of players and it looks like they've taken battle tower one and they're Anderson's trying to move back. battle tower three a charge goes off near three but again it's just ineffective mm. so but by the way um marksman went uh kia so give me your milk it looks like he's going back for that marksman rifle uh it's just to his left but We'll still see independent with that rifle. Uh, Stray Dog repositioning, trying to get some more snipes in on the force moving up. Uh, Platoon HQ just bled out as well, and I just heard something else explode. I don't know what it was, though. And that here comes that uh, gas. That oh, here we go. Hold up, what was it? The explosion would be a satchel charge placed by uh, uh, Sergeant Coda. Uh, he went up there with us, and he placed a satchel charge on our mm -hmm. up there. So, largely uh, <laughs> The gas almost flipped itself as it, as, it, as it made a turn, but it's now, it's going to be rolling up on it. And the thing with the gas um, and the weapon setup is, it cannot fire directly front. Yep, they're going to have to turn left or right. Five, five degrees or so, because uh, it just won't have that kind of depression. Give me your milk has taken the SVD, but he's holding back for a second. Uh, looks like the range team is looking around. They got the Titan out. I'm trying to see. Maybe they have an angle on the gas. Nope, not yet. But if that gas gets first shot, they're going to pretty much kill the three guys up here because they are not well spaced out. Uh, but looks like there. Titan here spotted. Go, here Here's the sh Yeah, their gas is dead. I'm looking, I'm looking at the gas now. Yep, they're lining up now. Uh... Both binos are out, Titans out. Uh, Gaz is in a perfect area to get shot. Where's that shot? I have a little bit of a bias here just because Green 4 was my team. 
I no, I want Boston to fucking wreck house as well. But with what I'm doing. There's the forward, Titan. And that is GG for I, that vehicle. Titan's coming in. Five, ooh. four, three. Get some good damage in, but then they explodes got some to the good Titan. Damage. Hit four they guys. They're unconscious the, though. And now these three people down up here, all yeah. able to bail out as the machine gun now sprays them. They can get the double taps in. Uh, and they've got access to these gases, which they can use Blue. to make a speedy getaway. Blue One on four up. guy woke up, yep. And we uh, have, grenadier uh, round just hit him though. He might be getting friendly fired by some spray from uh, friendlies. Ploof went up, we have JSTOL and um, who is this over here? I'm trying to find their name. Um, I have no idea who that is, but they're looking in the complete opposite direction anyway. If but the Ploof Titan has, uh, sorry, go ahead. Well, I was gonna say, um, Floof is medicking himself, but he's pushing up now. Titan, yeah, like you're saying. Titan, Titan, give me uh, your milk. Um, I think that's no, no, it's uh, Victor. He has eyes on the marksman with his thermal scope. He's looking right at Stray Jog. Stray Jog's also looking that way, but I think he's firing into the uh, compound. So I'm wondering if they might risk burning a Titan missile on infantry. Also, uh, Fudgehead Pilot Man has just made it to the coast, and he might finally be useful. <laughs> Oh, and yeah. The, uh, wait a second. Wait a second. There's down. a dude right behind Stray Dog. Yeah, there was a dude up on that ridge. For oh, no. Oh, Stray Dog. You didn't hear the footsteps and he gets dropped. Oh, oh. no. His body. His body. And his weapon falls dame, further, dame. but I don't think that marksman rifle is going to be uh, grabbable. Because there's and no way in hell they're going to know where that thing the, ended up. Back to the gas ZU truck. Snow is the last man standing. He throws a nade. He's got two dudes right around this corner. I don't think the, the op war guys know that he's there. I mean, he does have his buddies down right there. If he were to turn that corner, he'd get an easy kill on the guy bandaging. He's putting an explosive satchel down. He what? A, he is the combat. He's a CE. He's a combat. Nani? I think he's setting a timer on it, but Op4, they're going to be pushing to that objective instead. So I think that's... I, I don't see that as a good call. Ah. <laughs> I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Why why do you so, do that? So I, 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 well, he woke back up for a second. What? So Please, I, I want this Op4 guy to come up and double tap him for that. I'm dying, Fucking Jasol, turn around and kill this idiot. Please. Oh that was... Oh my God. I, I guess he was going to try to kill him because he thought they were close. I don't get it. Yeah, that's he, the only that's the only oh, insight I can offer. Oh my God. What? He could probably dying. hear them. And... He could he could definitely hear them walking around. I don't know why he like he could have uh, I I, I can't go, explain go, that one. I honestly first. cannot I, explain that I, one. That that was what 10 seconds. Oh my god. I'm he put it on a five second timer or something. <laughs> Meanwhile, the um, Op4 uh, Overwatch team is firing up no, another. No. I'm, I'm just going to ignore that as ever happening because that was. Bro. Okay. I, I don't know. Here's the thing with the defensive advantage, the three guys at the bottom of the hill might be able to clutch this. Independents um, have pretty much lost the top hill. Uh, the last guy that was up uh, went down. Independent are now crawling down. Uh, actually, there's one guy he's staying. Don't I, I just Anderson has a bit of a what cheeky position right here. <laughs> oh, you're right. Anderson is still up there. He is on top of yeah. the dome. Wow. I could. Yeah, if he enhanced movement up there from the uh, southern yeah, side, yeah. he could have cl climbed up there. Um, so now he's just hunting people. Uh, the thing is, both sides are using AKs, so, you know, weapon PID is oh, um, off I of audio is really tough. Anderson. Someone yeah, just spotted someone, Anderson. Someone and he just took multiple oh. shots from that machine yep. gun. He's, yep. he's now trying to roll away. I don't know how he survived that. He was also getting shot at by another rifleman on the left. Uh, and now someone is in the dome. I'm wondering if they're going to go up and uh, ambush him. I don't know how he's alive. Anderson, I think he's going to take a second to bandage. Uh, looks like on the wounds, it only hit him in the legs because, you know, ace with uh, <laughs> ballistics is silly. I, I just want Op4 to lose. Uh, excuse me, Independent to lose at this point. 
I mean, yeah, it'd be a nice change of pace given the two uh, different um, the, the pre first two missions where attackers just like completely wasted their stuff and Blake just, just came but... in, got blown up by a grenadier round after trying to kill Casey, but he was saved by the grenadier on the rooftop uh, by Sholand. Uh, Anderson is the last guy up here, and uh, I don't know. Independent has three dudes left, and Drake is also super duper close. Drake so, is honestly in a semi decent position. He's yeah. really working around. And Hold up. Anderson's should... now crawling around again. No one's doing Overwatch. He's got people going up that tower. He needs Anderson. to kill them. Oh, he needs to kill them. No, don't let them pass. This is the. I think he's trying to line up a shot, him. but. Just no. wasn't able to. That MG thinking he killed him, I guess, because uh, I don't know why oh, he didn't keep that go. Overwatch. With, with the top floor of this battle tower, he might be able to. Oh, if he opens up fire now. I think he's just, just trying to catch him alone because you got to consider. Watch the door. Watch the door I am? That's all I, no, no, no. I'm talking to Anderson. Lamau. Because I. Oh, here we go. Yep. And he. You gotta, you gotta wow. understand though, he's in a shit ton of pain. Oh, wow. Op 4 doesn't even know where they just got fired from, but he did get mag dumped by a PKM. Oh, and and yep. Op 4 mm -hmm. just spotted him. And uh, now they're trading shots. Oh, Manages to drop the Op 4 guy. Caught reloading yeah. as he's getting oh. sprayed. Oh, Dominate. and the gravity's gonna, Dominate. wow. What? Ah, uh, yes, Anderson pulled the ostrich maneuver in order to hide his head and his body oh, oh, and instead gets armored and flies into the dome. Oh, I think he got shot in the ass by whoever was up in that tower. And yep. I just heard a Titan get launched. Yep, Titan is getting launched at, I think, the battle tower that Night Owl and Dean are in. Here it goes. That, that is a nasty hit, but uh, minimal damage. Um, I think the... um. The, these no things are, um, what you call it? Their simulation is, it's not disabled, they're just uh, disabled damage because that Titan yeah, yeah. would have uh, done some damage to that tower. Look at Drake, look at Drake, look at Drake. Drake's pushing up and Wiki's in the forest to his Yes, left. but we're going to have Fog of War here and they're not going to see each other. Oh, absolutely, but Drake's pushing in. He's going full Rambo and he uh, he's dropped his long range, but he might still have that short range and been in contact with the rest of Red Fort uh, troops. I mean, all um, they have to do is demo these caches, so he could just go in there, blow up the cache, and that's GG for Independent. But he honestly, he Independent's only three he dudes. He can just mag dump it. He can dump like four or five mm, mags you're right. it, and that will kill it. Independent and is in here, though. Night oh. Owl now crossing in. Oh, Gets dropped on the legs! Oh! Beauty. Oh, Night Owl. Beauty. No one expects the Spanish See, Inquisition. Because of the, because of the weapons, Dean is none the wiser. I think... No, with that uh, double tap, he's now flanking around, Get and now Dean team. just needs to needs to dump it. Just just dump the cash. Do oh no, Drake needs to can. dump it. Dean needs to get in here and try to figure out what's going on. I think he thinks there's like a strike team or something in here. Wiki, but Drake Wiki is, is still confused. Holding the corner, Wiki. Yep, he's patrolling around, unsure what's going on. Dean's moving away. Oh, this is such a misplay. But Drake needs to capitalize on this opportunity that he's made. Drake could just mag dump the cash. I don't know why he's not doing that. Take one for the team. Kill the cash. Well, he does, Drake doesn't know who's around him right now, and he saw one other person. So, as in in his mind, he could be, he he could have someone maneuvering on him right now. So I I, I can see where he's coming from, wanting to be as safe as possible. Dean has left the compound entirely and is now in uh, on the perimeter by the bunker and the bar gate. See, Drake, I. It, I mean, obviously, yeah, fog of war, fog of war, you know, he doesn't know who's around him. We have that luxury. You know, I, I know, even, but if you're literally at that objective, I would have just risked it because it's only two mags that can do it. And I'm hoping after he does this perimeter sweep, he decides to go in and mag dump because, I mean, in his shoes, I get playing it safe. But at the same time, he's one dude, probably doesn't have radio range with his other guys, has no idea what's going on. But he Honestly, could like, uh, just with, risk it. Take one for the team, you know? Exactly. With, with his positioning, I wouldn't be surprised if he starts taking friendly fire because of uh, if, it's, if, that, if his position is not properly uh, relayed. But now that Drake has kind of gone around the perimeter and he doesn't see anyone, I would hope he would go back and just finish off the round. Speaking of which, they still He's have corner it. camping. He is corner camping, which is unfortunate. Drake! But they still haven't destroyed the first cache at the top. closest one would be um Sholin, but even he's running away i don't think because they've uh they haven't found the cache oh nope they had a charge on it and there goes that cache 
Uh, there's there no is. pop up though, but the thing on the map did disappear. So now, honestly, yeah. just Drake needs to get it done. Uh, there was a pop up for players, but not gotcha. spectators. Gotcha. That's fine. That's, that's so a shame. But Drake is it. getting a different gun. Maybe he's checking him for explosives. Yeah. I wonder what um, that was. Oh my god! Um, Shoot the cash. That was oh, night owl. Hold up! Here we go! Come on. It... Good aim. <laughs> okay. He's trying. Uh, that's one. He's that's trying. Two. That's that that that's something. But he just needs to dump five mags into it or something. Pops a fresh one in. But ah. Uh... So Wiki alerted by those grenades. He's gonna come charging in. He might be able to stop it. I don't know what Drake's doing. Oh, let's go, Wiki. If anyone can, I believe that Wiki can. Now Wiki, that, uh, I think just saw his legs. Drake, and, please. Drake. Oh. Drake, come on. Drake, for the love of God. Just, okay, switch into a bigger gun. Uh, just mag dump it. Mag dump it. Nope, nope. The lid. The, the lid. The lid. lid. Yes! Hey. The lid, Drake! Wiki is still... confused? It's an RPG <laughs> shot land in here. Oh, Going Dean's there, getting there. shot at by a machine gun, but that doesn't matter. It's all up to Drake. Who just... Uh, Drake! Please! No, no, didn't. The lid! Like, I, maybe he, Drake, he might for the be love going of God. by, like old quote unquote old school armor rules where to destroy something you need explosives we can see use the grenades but he, oh, here no. we go here we go he's getting the lid it's well established that those will be destroyed by that's especially since drake has been here for a while i think but yeah. like no nah, he's just going for it maybe he got confirmation wiki is now charging here. in here comes wiki uh it might be a little too little too late W Wiki, Wiki, the lid, the li Wiki's armoring himself. He armored himself. Drake oh. just spun. <laughs> what the, what the actual fuck? You gotta be kidding me. I, if I was Wiki, I'd be pissed off because the only reason he got shot was because he got armored off that and went flying too far uh, forward. I think he might have lagged out a little bit, but now Drake, he isn't going for the cash kill. He's going to go for the glory. He's going to get the dog tag. And now he's the stuck. Movie. The lid. Oh, uh, yeah, he is. He actually is stuck. The lid. He he's has... trying to hop out. He's trying to hop out. He has been eaten. Oh, wait. Mm, mm, mm. He goes prone. It's a good move. Good technique. 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 Uh, but his technique is um, not working. I play the things. Jeopardy theme, but it's copyright. Oh, he is now oh. on television. Yeah. See, as as a Zeus, I, I can't stress this enough. You got if you make a custom base, you have to test buildings, especially if you've made these ramps. So there was detail yeah. put here that, you know, you have to you can climb on this, but you know, you got to still test that out because Drake oh, is pretty now, much stuck. Now he's floating and we are in a perpetual state of he's in the Venus flytrap and he doesn't have an angle on that cache. So he is now essentially stuck. And that's unfortunate. Dean is uh, he could have had an angle on Drake, but doesn't. We have Alpha now. We have Sherlin, Carpenter. Oh, now I'm seeing names for some reason, but Sherlin, Oh, hold up. Carpenter. Drake is now running up. He might be able to get an angle, or he's trying to find a different position where he can run out of this conveyor belt. And no, he's going to try vaulting again, and he's still stuck. He's if I were him, I would just dump what I could and uh, just try to kill the cache. Yep. Drake, you're in prison now. Yep, okay, go for it. He sees the cache. Eyes on, eyes on, oh, taking the shot. Oh, oh, I thought he got out of there for a sec. Come on, Drake. No, no such luck. The take lid. Take the shot. The sh take shot. The lid. Take shot. The lid. Take the shot. The lid. Jason Bourne, take the shot. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Op 4 is almost at the compound at this point. And they're, they're, I mean... I mean, I don't know what's in here, so I can completely understand the Grenadier rounds. I'm curious to see if Drake's going to get shot by his friends.
Yeah, because if you notice, he picked up his. Uh, oh, he M81. got out. I think he, did. he armed yeah, himself, I, I, but he got he, out. I, he picked up an M81 vest. I would not be surprised if he got Miss PID because. And he has an enemy gun. Conflict. He's yeah. He's got the wrong gun and wrong vest. I can I can almost guarantee yep. that he'll get shot. And Dean is still just like poking around. I think he's confused as well as to why like the cash hasn't been blown up yet. Carlson and now running in. Doesn't uh, see Drake. Come on, Carpenter. I come on, Carpenter. I Carpenter, I come on, do it. Oh, wow, Carpenter, Carpenter didn't even check his thing. corner. Wow. Oh, okay. Dude. And Gar look at that. Uh, I oh, no. And Carpenter knows what to do. And so is Carlson. Well, that's going to be all she wrote. Yeah. Dean is fighting off a like, little bit you of know, contact. But there goes and Dean. In Drake's Dean defense, I I thought you only need like two or three mags to mag dump. At least when I watched yeah, it with you. So yeah, yeah that was like nine right or ten there. mags right there. I guess it was a little so bit more. I'll I'll give it to Drake. I didn't realize it took that many. I thought it was only two or three based on what it I saw previously. Pop up but... A health bar, but yeah, I, I did, regardless, it was drifting on that is a little funky. That was that was definitely an interesting oh, round. Man. That well, was between the guy pulling himself up, the Shilka, the MI-24. Yeah, this has been a night. Just in this mission alone, this has been a night. I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I stopped carrying after the guy blew himself up. I was like, oh, what yeah. the hell? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, I got that 600,000 rating, though. I'm going to go upstairs. Let's listen to debrief. Because I fell down the side <laughs> of the mountain. I was fun to watch. Oh my god. I, was I just need like, to see everyone's replays of that. just fell down the side of the mountain. You know what's funny, Carpenter? Like... Is that Hill did more damage than the most of our team. Yeah. It, I know. It, it incapacitated about six people and made about half uh, the other ones lose their legs. About a gallon of blood. <laughs> That's a good night. Mm hmm. All right, guys, that is it for this Friday night fight. Uh, we saw some really cool plays, and we also saw some, not so much, <laughs> some questionable ones that made me wonder what the heck was going on. But hope you guys liked it. We'll be back next Friday around 8, 8.30, because they uh, seem to start these a little bit late past the 8 o'clock slot. We're going to have another three ops, and we'll see how things go. I might even, um, we'll see if we can get a bit of more uh, TSB representation in for the next one so we can watch all of our favorites get uh, shot to death. <laughs> but otherwise, thank you so much for watching, guys. Go operate operationally. I will be back Sunday for the Project 11 finale and another T3 operation. Otherwise, cheers, guys. Have a good one. Go operate operationally.